Welcome to the studios of WCMU Public Television. This time on Quiz Central, it's Mackinac City taking on Pentwater. That's coming up next. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Hello everyone, I'm David Nicholas. Welcome to our 19th season of Quiz Central here on WCMU. This time, students from Mackinac City are taking on the team from Pentwater. Now before we kick things off, here's the format for our single elimination tournament. Our two competing teams today will be independently challenged with an identical set of questions. The school that answers the most questions correctly in the time allotted, they advance to the next round. And we'll continue doing that until we crown a Quiz Central Season 19 champion. At the end of the season, four lucky Quiz Central seniors will receive a book scholarship provided by the CMU Bookstore. And top teams from Quiz Central, they qualify for the NAQT High School National Championship Tournament. Now let's get to today's game. The first round is the Maroon and Gold Rush. Our teams will have just two minutes to answer or pass each question. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. There is no point deduction for any incorrect answer. Students will be able to consult with their teammates on each question, but the final answers, those come from the team's captain. Let's get things started with a team from Mackinac City. Here comes your first question in today's Maroon and Gold Rush. What American chemist defined acids as substances capable of donating an electron pair and is the namesake of diagrams that depict electrons as dots? Arrhenius. Arrhenius. That is incorrect. The outdoor sculptures of Endless Column and the Table of Silence are by what Romanian sculptor of the series Bird in Space? Pass. What Egyptian god who replaced Mantu as the patron deity of Thebes was identified with Jupiter and Zeus and was famously fused with the sun god Ra? I pass. I'm a Ra. That is correct. The Tour de France traditionally ends with, a, with what street in Paris, whose western end is the Arc de Triomphe? Uh, pass. What emperor ruled as his country conquered Burma and the Philippines, established Manchukuo, and lost to the Allies in the Pacific in World War II? Your tile. I can't accept that. That is incorrect. What state has a uniquely pennant-shaped flag featuring five red and white stripes and 17 white stars? Ohio. That is correct. What English poet included a poison tree in his collection Songs of Experience and described the fearful symmetry of a jungle predator in the tiger. Robert Frost. That is incorrect. What country, oh, sorry, before we got into that question, that's the bell and that signals the end of our first round. All right, thanks Mackinac City. Pentwater, it is your turn now. Here comes your first question in today's Maroon and Gold Rush. What American chemist defined solids as substances capable of donating an electron pair and as the namesake of diagrams that depict electrons as dots. Lewis? That is correct. 
The outdoor sculpture's Endless Column and the Table of Silence are by what Romanian sculptor of the series Bird in Space? A uh, pass. What Egyptian god who replaced Mantu as the patron deity of Thebes was identified with Jupiter and Zeus and was famously fused with the sun god Ra? A uh, pass. The Tour de France traditionally ends along what street in Paris whose western end is at the Arc de Triomphe? Pass. What emperor ruled as his country conquered Burma in, and the Philippines, established Manchukuo and lost to the Allies in the Pacific in World War II? Okay, pass. What state has a uniquely pennant-shaped flag featuring five red and white stripes and 17 white stars? Rhode Island. Hmm? Rhode Island. Rhode Island? Hey, that is incorrect. What English poet included a poison tree in his collection Songs of Experience and described the fearful symmetry of a... And that bell does signal the end of the first round. Well, let's take just a moment to look at the questions that were missed in that opening round. The outdoor sculptures, Endless Column and the Table of Silence are by the Romanian sculptor Constantin Brincuș. The Tour de France traditionally ends with the Champs-Élysées. The emperor who conquered Burma and the Philippines was Hirohito. And finally, the English poet who included a poison tree in his collection, Songs of Experience, that was William Blake. Challenging first round sees Mackinac City starting this game with a 20 to 10 lead over Pentwater. Before we head to the next round today here on Quiz Central, let's meet our players competing today. First up, we say hello to the students from Mackinac City. I am Sebastian Pierce. I'm a senior here at Mackinac City High School, and I am on the baseball and basketball team. I'm Tristan. I'm a senior at Mackinac City High School, and I play basketball. I am Tyler Lenner. I'm a freshman at Mackinac City. I am on the golf team and in youth group at my church. I am David Morris at Mackinac City. I am a captain of our chess team, and I am on the jazz band. Welcome to Mackinac City. Good to have you here. And Pentwater, let's take a chance to meet your players today. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a senior at Pentwater High School, and I'm on the volleyball team and on the Spanish and Art Club. Hi, my name is Lauren Davis. I'm a sophomore at Pentwater High School, and I play volleyball and basketball. I'm Mikey Carlson. I'm a junior at Pentwater High School, and I play basketball and golf. I, my name is Eli. Um, I am a junior at Pentwater Public High School, and I play soccer. Thanks to all of our students. Now, our next round today is the Perfect Ten. In the Perfect Ten, our teams will be given a category, and they'll have 60 seconds to answer or pass on each of the 10 questions pertaining to that category. Correct answers worth 10 points, no point deduction for an incorrect answer. Our Perfect Ten category for today is mascots. Given a college sports mascot, name the school that it represents. Mackinac City, you're up first with your first question here in the Perfect Ten. An Irish leprechaun. Notre Dame. That is correct. Albert and Alberta, who are alligators. Florida. Correct. Bevo, who was a longhorn. Texas. Correct. Brutus Buckeye. Ohio State. Correct. Big Al, who is an elephant. Alabama. Correct. A dancing tree. Stanford. Correct. Ralphie, who is a bison. Colorado. That is correct. Ramblin' Wreck, which is a 1930 car. 
Pass. Sparky, who is, uh, which is a maroon and gold double. Um, Arizona State. That is correct. Handsome Dan, who is a bulldog. We'll go. And, sorry, the, uh, the bell came in just at the, uh, the tail end there, but good job. And Pent Water, time for you to take a spin on the perfect 10. Here comes your first question. An Irish leprechaun. Notre Dame. Correct. Albert and Alberta, who are alligators. Uh, Florida. Florida. The University of Florida. Correct. Bevo, who was a Longhorn. Texas. University of Texas. University of Texas. Texas. That is correct. Brutus Buckeye. Ohio State. Ohio State. That is correct. Big Al, who was an elephant. Um, it's a. Uh... A uh, pass. A dancing tree. Pass. pass. Ralphie, who is a bison. And Bell, sorry, that does signal the end of that round. That concludes the perfect 10, but let's revisit the questions that stumped both our schools. They did know their mascots today. The Ramblin' Wreck, which is a 1930s car, needed Georgia Tech for the answer. Handsome Dan, who is a bulldog and is a very good boy, he's at Yale University. Lots of correct answers in that round, and Mackinac City extends the lead now to 100 to 50. Next up in our game, it's the home stretch. I'll have some more questions for our teams, and correct answers will be worth, once again, 10 points. No deduction for any incorrect answers. Mackinac City, here comes your first question. What organ expresses large amounts of cytochrome P450 enzymes to metabolize drugs, makes fat emulsifying bile, and lies beneath the diaphragm? Liver. That is correct. A woman of the far future named Weena belongs to what group of small beings who are preyed upon by Morlocks in H.G. Wells' novel, The Time Machine? Dwarves. Dwarves. That is incorrect. The earliest opera still regularly performed is Claudio Monteverdi's 1609 Favola in Musica, or Fable in Music, about what mythical musician? Let's go Phantom of the Opera. That is incorrect. What NFL team, which was led by quarterback Bart Starr and coach Vince Lombardi to a win in the first Super Bowl, plays at Lambeau Bay Packers. That is correct. What Revolutionary War's officer's use of guerrilla tactics against the British led him to be nicknamed the Swamp Fox? Pass. Okay. Big Cypress National Preserve is part of what wetlands region extending southward from Lake Okeechobee that names a national park in southern Florida? The Everglades. That is correct. Cassie pretends to be a ghost to escape the plantation of what villainous character who orders Uncle Tom's death in a Harriet Beecher Stowe novel? Uncle Tom's Cabin. That is incorrect. What analytical technique typically uses a magnetic field to separate molecules based on their M to Z ratio? Pass. What Spanish word names the centuries-long conflict that ended in 1492 when Ferdinand and Isabella captured the Moorish city of Granada? Inquisition. That is incorrect. What playwright depicted Harry Hope's saloon in The Iceman Cometh and wrote about the fracturing Tyrone family in Long Day's Journey in Tonight? William Shakespeare. That is incorrect. 
What word that uh, harms Monty Python's Knights Who Say Knee also names a two-part film set in Maine that features Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise the Clown. It. That is correct. In 2023, what country, led by Yoko Wadaru, worked with SpaceX on the Satria-1 satellite, which will boost Internet access for its 280 million residents? Japan. That is incorrect. What constellation, which contains the M87 black hole and the star Spica, lies between Leo and Libra in the zodiac and depicts a maiden? Farco. That answer again, please. Virgo. That is correct. And that bell does signal the end of the home stretch. Good job, players. All right, Mackinac City, next up, Pentwater. Here comes your first question in today's home stretch. What organ expresses large amounts of cytochrome P450 enzymes to metabolize drugs? makes fat emulsifying bile, and lies beneath the diaphragm. The liver. Correct. A woman of the far future named Weena belongs to what group of small beings who are preyed upon by Morlocks in H.G. Wells' novel, The Time Machine? Fairy. 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 I'm sorry, again? Fairy. Uh, that is incorrect. The earliest opera still regularly performed is Claudio Monteverdi's 1609 Favola in Musica, or Fable in Music, about what mythical musician? Uh, pass. What NFL team, which was led by quarterback Bart Starr and coach Vince Lombardi to a win in the first Super Bowl, plays at Lambeau Field in Wisconsin? Uh, the Green Bay Packers. That is correct. What Revolutionary War officer's use of guerrilla tactics against the British led him to be nicknamed the Swamp Fox? Cornwallis. Uh, that is incorrect. Big Cypress National Preserve is part of what wetlands region extending southward from Lake, Lake Okeechobee, which that names a national park in southern Florida? The Everglades. That is correct. Cassie pretends to be a ghost to escape the plantation of what villainous character who orders Uncle Tom's death in a Harriet Beecher Stowe novel? Pass. What analytical technique typically uses a magnetic field to separate molecules based on their M to Z ratio? Pass. What Spanish word names the centuries-long conflict that ended in 1492 when Ferdinand and Isabella captured the Moorish city of Granada? Conquista or like con Conquista or something? Conquista? That is correct. What playwright depicted Harry Hope's saloon in The Iceman Cometh and wrote about the fracturing Tyrone family in Long Day's Journey Into Night? Pass. What word that harms Monty Python's Knights Who Say Knee? also names a two-part film set in Maine that features Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise the Clown. It. it. Correct. In 2023, what country, led by Joko Wee Dodo, worked with SpaceX on the Satria-1 satellite, which will boost Internet access for its 280 million residents? Japan? That is incorrect. What? And that bell does signal the end of the home stretch.
At the conclusion of the home stretch, let's revisit the incorrect answers from that round. The woman of the far future named Weena belongs to a group of small beings called Eloy. The earliest opera still regularly performed about a mythical musician. The answer we were looking for is Orpheus. The Revolutionary War officer nicknamed the Swamp Fox, that was Francis Marion. Cassie pretends to be a ghost to escape Simon Legree in the Harriet Beecher Stowe novel. The analytical technique that uses a magnetic field to separate molecules, mass spectrometry. The playwright that depicted Harry Hoop's saloon in The Iceman Cometh was Eugene O'Neill. And finally, the country that worked with SpaceX to boost internet access for its 200 million residents, the nation we were looking for was Indonesia. After three rounds now, Mackinac City continues to hold on to a 50-point lead as we head on to the final countdown. That's our final round of the day. Teams, the final countdown will be your last two minutes to answer or pass on our questions. Correct answers worth 10 points and no point deduction for any incorrect answer. Mackinac City, you are up first. We turn to you to start the final countdown today. Two minutes are on the clock. Here comes your first question. What war in which a U.N. landing at Incheon was led by Douglas MacArthur ended in 1953 with the creation of a DMZ along the 38th parallel? Korean War. That is correct. What Castilian saint established the Order of Preachers, also known as the Black Friars, in 1216? Francis. Francis. That is incorrect. At the 2021 U.S. Open, Russian Daniel Medvedev was booed during his championship point, which denied what other tennis player a calendar Grand Slam? Roger Federer. That is incorrect. What author who wrote about a man who dies of hypothermia in his story to build a fire depicted a canine protagonist in the Yukon? Jack in London. That is correct. What Greek hero used the help of Medea to retrieve the Golden Fleece? Jason. That is correct. What SI-derived unit is equal to one volt ampere, or one joule per second, measures power, and is named for an inventor who improved the steam engine? Kelvin. That is incorrect. What rapper says he knows his, holes, uh, his whole backs to these ropes and describes a vomit on his sweater already is a song from Eminem. Eight. That is correct. What seven-letter term can refer to the total weight or total dry weight of all living matter in a given area? Pass. What president who was accused of cruelty in the coffin handbills, unseated John Quincy Adams in 1828, and was a former general. Nicknamed Andrew Jackson. That is correct. And that bell with that question signals the end of the round. Good job, players, as we closed out the final countdown. Thanks, Mackinac City. Now, Pentwater, you're up, and here comes your first question in today's final countdown. What war in which a U.N. landing at Incheon was led by Douglas MacArthur ended in 1953 with the creation of a DMZ along the 38th parallel? The Korean War. That is correct. What Castilian saint established the Order of Preachers, also known as the Black Friars, in 1216? Pass. At the 2021 U.S. Open, Russian Daniel Medvedev was booed during his championship point, which denied what other tennis player a calendar Grand Slam? Nadal. That is incorrect. What author who wrote about a man who dies of hypothermia in his story to build a fire depicted a canine protagonist in the Yukon in White Fang? Hmm? Pass. What Greek hero used the help uh, used the help of Medea to retrieve the golden fleece? Jason. It's Jason. 
Jason. That is correct. What SI derived unit is equal to one volt ampere or one joule per second, measures power and is named for an inventor who improved the steam engine? What? That is correct. What rapper says he knows his whole backs to these ropes and describes vomit on his sweater already is a song from 8 Mile titled Lose Yourself. Eminem. That is correct. What seven letter term can refer to the total weight of or total dry weight of all living matter in a given area? Pass. And that bell does signal the end of uh, the final countdown round. Good job, players. Strong finish. And with the final countdown wrapping up, let's take a look at the questions that were missed. The saint who established the Black Friars in 1216 was Saint Dominic. Russian Daniel Medvedev denied Novak Djokovic the calendar Grand Slam. And finally, the seven-letter word referring to total weight or total dry weight, that's biomass. Mackinac City takes the win today by a final of 200 to 140. Mackinac City advancing on to our next round. Good job, Pentwater, and thank you for joining us this season. We'd like to invite you to join us again next week right here on Quiz Central. A reminder that you can watch games anytime online, and that's at WCMU.org. Thank you, and good night. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.